This is Naomi Horn presenting on uh, Mainstream Sustainability Adaptations of an Eco Village, case study of the Eco Village at Ithaca, New York. I'd like to thank my advisor and professors for their input, as well as all my friends and family who have contributed to my capstone. Measuring progress towards sustainability on a systems level can be very difficult, and that is what this capstone endeavors to do using the eco-village model. Eco-villages are intentional communities formed around sustainable lifestyles that employ new and often cutting-edge technology to lower their impact on the environment and preserve nature. This research asks the questions, what characteristics of the eco-village model are becoming mainstream? What adaptations are being employed in new neighborhood subdivisions? The answers to these questions should shed light on our progress towards adopting sustainable practices as a society. Uh, results found uh, varying levels of adoption and implementation, primarily in the categories of uh, nature preservation, open green space, and um, sustainable transportation options. All of those uh, scored highly. Uh, other areas that could use improvement are um, sustainable building materials and other standards for increasing uh, building energy efficiencies. Although this case uh, can only be applied uh, singularly to this location, uh, it did find uh, trends that may hold true as a larger society uh, in increasing uh, adoption of uh, sustainable practices. The case study method was used in this capstone uh, to compare the eco-village at Ithaca, the town of Ithaca, a comprehensive plan and new neighborhood code. Uh, as well as the Anvil Pocket neighborhood. Uh, these were compared to help find the high water mark in sustainability at this moment in time. Eco Village at Ithaca was chosen because it has a clear influence on the mainstream, and uh, there were recently updated municipal codes. Um, just last year, the new neighborhood code was adopted. Um, and there's also sustainable neighborhood development. And Bell Pocket neighborhood um, claims to be uh, more sustainable than the average neighborhood, as well as being formally endorsed by the co-founder of the Eco Village at Ithaca. Um, information was relatively accessible in this case for the comparison of infrastructure systems. Major sources of data include the web pages for the Eco Village, the Town of Ithaca, and the Ambell Pocket neighborhood. Tompkins County GIS was also used alongside the municipal code databases. Uh, limitations included time because the capstone was only uh, two sessions of 10 weeks long, and access to contextual data was limited. Uh, reasons for decisions or motivations for changes to the codes or the uh, development um, were unclear. My research used seven categories um, of comparison. Uh, I don't have time to go over all 30 points uh, within these categories, but briefly, um, energy had mainly to do with uh, solar, ground mounted, roof mounted, hot water heating versus uh, grid connected. Water was difficult to compare because um, it's highly regulated. So the main point of difference is the water recycling practices. Sustainable transportation um, was compared via bike lanes, pedestrian paths, electrical vehicle charging, and pedestrian friendliness of the codes and neighborhoods. Land conservation uh, compared green space, agriculture, nature reserves, and uh, the use of private lawn and gardens. Design had uh, mainly to do with neighborhood size, lot size, and individual ownership of lots. Uh, sustainability was uh, compared via um, recycled building materials or specific uh, building materials used. Um, and requirements to decrease energy or use passive house standards. Governance was included uh, to uh, make sure that 
I differentiated between an eco village and a neighborhood versus two eco villages. Um, and it compared collective living, a shared or common lodge, and the decision making model that was used in each neighborhood. The town of Ithaca was very similar to the eco village in sustainable transportation and land conservation. As you can see on the map here, uh, the green space is nature conservation, or the uh, lighter green space is agricultural land and those were specifically protected, especially um, wildlife corridors, so stretching from parks to old growth forests to scenic areas was very important in the new neighborhood code and the comprehensive plan. Uh, sustainable transportation uh, scored highly as well because uh, there were requirements for pedestrian streets and access to um, mass transit, those types of things. Um, the image of a pedestrian street is in the bottom right hand corner here and you can see that it is very friendly for walking and for getting from your house to somewhere else. Um, pedestrian oriented codes were adopted heavily in the new neighborhood code. The only area that the Ambell Pocket neighborhood scored highly in was a sustainable transportation. It actually had more options than the Eco Village because of the placement of the neighborhood versus the Eco Village. Uh, the Eco Village is placed on a lot that is very large and very agricultural based. However, it isn't um, conducive to walking or biking because of the hills in between the land and the town of Ithaca. Um, the Ambo Pocket neighborhood, however, uh, has many options and um, one developing option is uh, to canoe or kayak on the river that is right next to the Ambell Pocket neighborhood. Um, it scored low in energy and um, infrastructure for collective living because of the uh, decisions it made in development to not employ solar energy and to not have a common house. Here I'd like to highlight the design and energy differences. Um, in the top left is Amabel and moving downward uh, Frog is the first neighborhood and then uh, Song is the second neighborhood and Tree is the third neighborhood within the Eco Village. Um, the common house is marked in red. Amabel does not have a common house for various reasons. Um, and parking is marked in purple, as you can see here and here. Um, the uh, Eco Village has parking in one central location, where Amabel has parking in every single house lot um, rather than a central location. Each have open space in the center or um, on the sides. They are all facing inward towards a community space here. Um, and they have community gardens. Each neighborhood has about five acres of community garden space. Um, it's uncertain how uh, big the size of the Amabel space is, but it will be um, a community garden rather than personal or private. Um, Amabel also uses private lawns um, with uh, vegetative uh, screening. The energy piece is really interesting. Uh, the first neighborhood implemented a 50 kilowatt ground system um, a few years ago. And then the second neighborhood adopted a uh, rooftop and a hot water system in their neighborhood. The most recent neighborhood um, has rooftop and ground solar. Uh, Amabel chose not to have um, any uh, solar uh, on site because of the orientation of houses. She wanted each house to have a porch that faced the sun and that means that the roof line can't face the sun. So they uh, have an option where you can purchase renewable energy from um, a solar farm off-site. 
This study found that there were two primary barriers to adoption and implementation. One is private property laws. Um, it prevents co-ownership outside of a formal cooperative organizations, which require a different legal structure. Um, and because of private property, uh, you can't cluster houses closely together. There has to be certain distances away from lot lines and things like that. Um, the one thing that the town of Ithaca did allow is uh, solar panels on lot lines, and uh, you could share those. But other than that, you can't have um, any kind of uh, zone heating or shared um, natural gas or any of those sorts of things. Um, private property laws also encourage uh, private lawns and, and limit uh, green spaces and community garden spaces. Um, economics was a huge issue as well because co-ownership of land has a large upfront cost. Um, it's hard to get an eco village started and then um, have the resources to maintain uh, sub metering systems for shared infrastructure. Um, developers aren't accustomed to the efficiency of the buildings, especially the passive house standards, because those are um, new and uh, developing in Europe. Um, timelines can be excruciatingly slow because of uh, consensus decision making. Um, this increases the likelihood of people dropping out and um, needing to raise more funds because um, the longer timeline to develop houses. This research contributes to sociology and psychology peripherally um, in highlighting implications of individual property rights. And more research could be done on that and the breaking of norms. Um, sustainability, um, it contributes uh, to trends of efficiency and adoption levels of the various categories. Um, something that I'd like to see researched is off-site renewable purchase versus on-site energy production. Um, if uh, there are any change uh, of patterns of use. Contributions to uh, urban planning are mainly localized to the town of Ithaca and Tompkins County. Um, you could study the impact of the new neighborhood code on walkability and sustainable transportation. In the area of transferability, um, this research confirms a previous series that ideas really are being transferred. Although there is no confirmation or refute of the concept of intermediacy. Future research could uh, compare levels of adoption across eco-villages with varying degrees of intermediacy to confirm that intermediacy does play a role in uh, transference of ideas. As with any case study, um, this can, research can only be applied to this case and can't be directly applied to other cases. Um, it also can't be applied to the eco-village at Ithaca in the future because technology changes. Findings are limited due to the finite resource of time and available data during the study. Uh, these results could be compared to future study results if similar methods were used. Uh, trends found in this case may not be the trends that hold true on a larger scale or in other regions of the United States. Thank you for listening. Here are the sources for the images within the backgrounds and on the slides of this PowerPoint.